was also given to the audience in such a way that it was not very boring hmm. you know they were not they were they didn't look bored at any point and they themselves i'm sure they must have all googled about it saying 1954 case mein kya hua tha when you see it on screen you'll know yeah. his his eyes speak volumes hmm. uh, he doesn't have to say much but his body language his eyes his expressions more than enough i think they speak more he also said i don't think the industry is made out for you i mean you know hmm. because whatever projects you're doing it's taking a long time you're not and we were not allowed to do any other project in that period yeah, you know yeah. could we couldn't sign anything else yeah. and all that see everybody is entitled to their opinion now we can't sit everybody down and say I why know. are you age shaming why are you body shaming yeah. me don't do it it's yeah. not nice you this this is earlier maybe i This is Aina and welcome to Instant Bollywood. I'm in conversation with the super talented Priya Mani. So nice to have you. Thank you for having me. Loved uh, your performance in Article 370. Thank you. I think it's amazing. And actually, we didn't even speak after Jawan. Yeah. So even Jawan was like one of the finest work that you've done. You know, I want to start off by asking you that how do you become that fearless and courageous as an actor to do a film like Article 370 in mm. today's time that is heavy uh, on politics? You know, kind of gives you uh, a lot of facts about the country. It feels great. It feels uh, there is a sense of responsibility that such a movie has to be brought out to the audience. It needs to be such a story has to be told yeah. to the audience. So when Aditya Dhar sir gave me a call and he said, "I want you as a part of the film," initially, I, yes, I just said yes that I would like to be. So he he in, actually it was he who gave me a gist of what the whole movie was about. So he told me about their previous work, which was Baramulla, mm. and then he said. which is going to come out now it's not mm. released yet then he said i'm it was he himself said i'm a maker of uri i directed i said sir i know who you are you don't have to you know give me your background then he said look this is a movie that uh, such a thing happened in kashmir and the role that you know india played mm. uh, to see to it that the article was abrogated and the mission was carried out very secretively and the politicians also the office also played a very important role it is not only the 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 agents on the field True. um but it was the 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 office also the number of people involved including the honorable pm and the hm how they were uh, involved and how important it was for that story to come out and the, the amount of the vast research that these guys have done yeah uh, was something so mind blowing for me as an artist because i was quite ignorant at start which i did not give the you know when the article was abrogated mm. on 5th of mm. august 2019 i mean when it was all said in the rajya sabha and all that for people who it mattered the most yeah. i think they were really um overjoyed but for people like us and you know the other the youngsters and um, coming from a privileged place yeah, yeah we all were like okay matlab hat gaya to hat gaya theek hai we were quite ignorant and it was a mistake from our side but uh, doing the film and knowing the you know the gravity of what the whole thing was how it went uh, through and how the mission was carried out secretively all of that i think i was so glad and so happy that yeah. you know i got a sense of you know the knowledge of what it went what actually india went through and what the our our uh, politicians went through to mm-hmm. see to it that you know such a thing Everything was uh, abrogated and and now that it's abrogated in kashmir kashmir has become a more safe place and yeah. it's welcome the tourists even the locals are being quite open about it they're being quite nice about it i heard yami saying it in one of our interviews together she said the inox was opened after such a long time yeah. in kashmir and i think that's a big uh, big big step yeah and I- we feel so proud that we we were part of such a project we're part of such a film mm. which has created history You know the most powerful thing about Article 370 was how two women were at the forefront of the film. Be the poster, be the film. One is on field, one is handling everything. Yeah. The PMO. Uh, my question to you is: even Jawan was on the lines where uh, you know it's encouraging uh, and showing how strong women are. Hmm. Are you consciously taking up films that are putting women at the forefront? I was it consciously taking up projects like that. I'm glad and fortunate that such projects are coming to me where I'm able to portray some some of the women who are quite brave enough to put their point across who are not afraid to show what they stand for. So I'm quite happy in that way and I'm fortunate that I got to be part of such wonderful films. You know like you said it 
Article 370 is very heavy on research uh, and it's also stating a lot of constitutional facts. Similarly, in a film like Maidan, mm. uh, which is your upcoming film, it's again based on a true story and a true event. Your facts need to be really on yeah. point when you're yeah. doing something like yeah. that. How do you get that conviction in the makers and the writers for their research? Ki ha, ye log jo bhi dikha rahe, sahi dikha rahe. Ne, ham log koi nahi hote hai to tell them that this is right. It yeah. is they, they who do the research and they come to us. Yeah. That's why they come to us and they say, look, we've done this research. This is what it is all but about. But how do you this trust that research? That is a risk you risk. take, no? Yeah. So yeah. at the end of the day, that's a risk I took with uh, things like Article 370 because I know and I'm I was very sure because Aditya Jhamle as a director and Aditya Dhar especially as producer, they won't invest in at least Aditya Dhar for a thing because see Aditya Jhamle is his first film but mm. he was so sure mm. because he also has done extensive research and Aditya Dhar as a producer will not invest in something which he's not absolutely sure of and absolutely thorough about. Mm. But that's the amount of research that all of them have done about this and with the vast knowledge and the vast research that they have they had to concise that amount and bring it to making such a film like article 370 they made it sure they made sure that it was quite informative to the audience but yet not to be made as a docu series or a docu yeah. film it was not yeah. a documentary it was a commercial cinema mm. but it had a lot of information which which were at the end of the day was what we wanted because we wanted people to discuss about it at the end of the day saying are this is what has happened this is what india went through this is what you know the agents went through how secretively everybody got together only a handful of people knew about such a thing True. so and the information was also given to the audience in such a way that it was not very boring hmm. you know they were not they were they didn't look bored at any point and they themselves i'm sure they must have all googled about it saying 1954 case mein kya hua tha 1965 mein kya hua tha 1958 mein kya hua tha so they have all they've also so that's the power of the research that's the power of internet at this point yes and yes. Um, so it's just the risk that we had to take and even with medan also as actors we that's a trust that we give in to the the production and the, the director and you know the, right the everybody yeah. involved in the team so that's the thing that we take saying no this is a movie that they have you know they want to make it the heart is in the right place mm. we also have to just give a little nudge saying we are we are we are with you and that's what we've done and can't wait for people to see madan when it Maidan. comes out how is it working with ajay devgan sir correct me if i'm wrong you were shooting you shot for like 12 15 days 15 days 15 yeah. days and he's a man of very few words he is actually <laughs> but he's brilliant as in when you see it on screen you'll know yeah. his his eyes speak volumes Mm. uh he doesn't have to say much but his body language his eyes his expression is more than enough i think they speak more mm. and he's just brilliant as rahim saab balance that he's created with the character is just mind blowing even in the uh trailer also if you see it's not gone a notch above it's not below it's just rightly maintained as what is expected of the character and what yeah. uh, ajay sir has also given it does he play pranks on set because he is known for like uh, being a prankster unfortunately prankster. i have not been privy to them yet <laughs> but never say never you never know you know i have to even ask uh, seeing your uh, filmography especially in the hindi film industry right from a family man to a maidan to article 370 chennai express are you satisfied with the way this entire uh, trajectory of your career has been nobody is satisfied no you're still hungry to do more you're still hungry to do better yeah but i'm happy with the path that i've chosen the movies that have come across uh, yeah. come along the path hmm. um i'm really glad and happy that i chose them i'll beat whatever the result is if it's a hit it's a hit it's great for everybody if it's not a hit then yeah you do feel bad that because you've given it your 100% and you wanted the movie to work out uh but nonetheless i have chosen everything so far and whatever i've chosen it's I'm I'm extremely happy. Yeah, people are loving you by each film that you do. So I I'm think your choices <laughs> are being so Thank correct you. at the moment. Thank you. Even uh, you know, I ask you this question because you had said in an interview there was a point where you wanted to prove yourself mm. and a point where you didn't feel like, you know, you want to continue with this industry. Mm. What why exactly was that self doubt there? No, this was very early no. in my career. Um, yeah. I think this was just when before Parithi Viran came across. So I'm talking about like 2003, uh, four, five types. Yeah. Because all the movies that I did, mm. it used to take a long time for you know mm. for them to come out. Mm. So if you shoot today, see generally you want a film to come out within six months, eight months max, right? Yeah. So all these movies used to take about a year to release. Mm. 
and you know so obviously the audience would forget who you are and you know they won't remember that such a person even existed when you do movie once in a year i'm talking about my perspective not the others yeah. obviously from my point of view so then i spoke to my father and i said look i don't think he also said i don't think the industry is made out for you i mean you know mm. because whatever projects you're doing it's taking a long time you're not and we were not allowed to do any other project in that period yeah. you know yeah. could we couldn't sign anything else yeah. and all that but then you know so he said let's do a plan b let's have a plan b which was not set yet we didn't we just said naam ka vaasta we said okay chalo let's think of something else i told myself that i'd give myself a year and see yeah how it would be but then fortunately for me pertiviran came along and <laughs> yeah the rest as they say is history. yeah life changed yeah you know because initially when you start out or when you're having those self doubts people give a lot of unsolicited opinions yeah. uh, you were told that you know probably do a photo shoot where you're looking mm. hot and stuff like mm. that and you are a woman who is who speaks her mind who is really mm. vocal when you have seen stuff like that and also people kind of trolling you or eat shaming you which is really not cool how do you calm that side of you and keep that to rest that mujhe answer nahi dena hai isko i don't take anything to heart i mean logo ka kaam logo ka kaam hai kehna unko jo kehna hai kehne do but all i'd say is even tomorrow they're also going to touch the same age no nobody is going to stay 16 forever yeah. nobody is going to say 20 forever yeah if you look the way you are even when you reach 50 60 great i i guess that's uh, the great blessing great genes in you fantastic yeah. no 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 doubt about it but somewhere or the other you know you will cross this age you will become old at the end of the day whatever they want to say let them say no problem because yeah. you are true to yourself you you are i am not answerable to anybody else i am mm-hmm. answerable only to my family my immediate loved ones mm-hmm. whatever they want to say let them say i don't it really doesn't matter they are entitled to their opinion i will not fight that yeah but lead lead the opinion to me let it be just with me yeah. don't take it to my family don't involve any of them because they have done nothing to you absolutely you are seeing me you are liking me or that's great you're hating me absolutely given i will not um, uh, argue with that you yeah. ha- you are entitled to your opinion mm. um but yeah i would just request everybody even if you are age shaming me body shaming whatever you want to do please go ahead do it but just keep it with me yeah no i'm sure it's not cool and see everybody is entitled to their opinion now we can't sit everybody down and say why are you age shaming why are you body shaming yeah. me don't do it it's yeah. not nice you this this is earlier maybe i did take it to heart yeah. i did feel bad about it but then at the end of the day i thought to myself i did speak with my husband i spoke with my family and everything and i said why am i giving undue importance to such comments i don't need to it's fine you know a lot of people talk about how women push their partners to kind of success to attain success in their life but you've always appreciated uh, your husband and how after marriage your work actually increased and he's always supported yeah. what kind of a driving force has he, he been in your career my case would be the classic example of behind every successful woman has There's a, a very secure man secure man yeah he is extremely secure in our marriage he is very secure in his place he is very yeah. secure in my place but i'm very glad and fortunate that he is one person who has never stopped me from what i wanted to do yeah um because i may i told him that even after marriage i would like to continue he said yeah go for it and the third day after marriage i've started work so you can imagine how secure he was in that yeah way. and even the family like you were speaking about uh, of camera about him and the mother in law like everyone's completely encouraging they you are, said this in interviews yes also. yes they are absolutely they very happy my mother in law is the sweetest person the best person you can ever find i mean yeah. they're extremely simple down to earth no no star no airs no nothing that you know my daughter in law is a movie star nothing like that but her only request is she wanted to meet shahrukh khan which mm. couldn't but i will i promise that i'll make her meet him someday definitely um but she's always happy whenever she sees me on screen be it an interview be it a dance number be it a film could be any language could be hindi could be any language that she doesn't understand and by that mm. i mean language in the south but she's always happy and she's always encouraging saying you you're looking very nice ye saadi jo tumne pehna hai bahut acha hai the dress you were wearing was very pretty mm. and all of that so so lovely she's very encouraging in that way absolutely lastly i have to ask you have expressed your want to work in a full fledged comedy film yes 
what is happening on that front have you approached directors to do a i don't film? approach anybody like oh, that oh you don't no, i don't don't you even text them that no. i would like to why i a lot of people in doing do anything like that i've mm-hmm. never done anything like that and i don't think i am in a position to message i know people might say it's wrong but mm. some i I've, i've also seen and heard some this one where actresses do approach yes. people and saying i'd like to work with you but genuinely i i don't know i you don't like it mm. <laughs> no but are you waiting for a good comedy script 100% i would love to do something like a golmal yeah i would love to do something like that just out and out comedy yeah i would love to be a yeah, part of such a thing you cry now you want to see you laugh, laugh. yeah and make <laughs> people laugh because that's the most difficult thing to make people True. laugh is the most difficult thing yeah a lot of actors tell me that comedy is the most difficult genre very um to make people laugh and to be right with that comedy yeah. timing you had mentioned manifesting working with alu arjun sir and yes. so uh <laughs> you know sharukh khan again because your love for him <laughs> is eternal yes What is is anything? Have you signed up anything with Alu Arjun or Shah Rukh Khan? <laughs> no, not yet. But if something comes up, I would love to do. And there were rumors about you in Pushpa Two. No, well. no, no, no. I'm not doing Pushpa Two. You're not doing no. Pushpa Two. No. Awesome. Wishing you all the very best Thank for you. everything coming in future. All the best for Medan. Thank and you. And I will see you super soon. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, this is Priya Mani. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Instant Bollywood.